I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. I was spotted for the first time in 1801, by Giuseppe Piazzi, the Sicilian. I was named after the goddess of agriculture, the Romans gave me my name in their time and culture. I am the smallest orbiting planet in our solar system, it takes 4.6 years for me to go around our sun. I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. NASA's exploring me with a space probe named Dawn, and found a crater named Arcator that had bright spots on. Nobody really knows why those spots are there, what they're from, but with all these scientists I'm sure the answer will come. In 2006 my status changed to a dwarf, before that I was a planet. And I was an asteroid I am Ceres The smallest dwarf planet The closest dwarf to the sun The star that we orbit Yeah, I am Ceres I'm in the asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars Is where my presence is felt Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. A Maki Maki, I was named by the human race. I'm the third largest door planet in outer space. And my color is red, and I have no atmosphere. Have you noticed my shape? I
sounds fun Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters My name is Eries. I am a dwarf planet The furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet On January 5th in 2005 The Caltech Observatory had brought me to life A team led by astronomer Michael Ground The biggest dwarf in mass is what they had found They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice But you'd have to visit me Precise. In 2006, the IAU named me and gave me dwarf status, yeah, officially. My name is Eries. I am a dwarf planet, the furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet. Minus 390 is my average degree. If you made it to my surface, then you'd probably freeze. The snow me is my one natural satellite sea. It means lawlessness and it is always orbiting me I'm 27% more massive than your Pluto Yeah, Pluto is slightly larger than I am, you know I take 557 Earth years to orbit the sun When I orbit, I leave the Kuiper Belt on my run My name is Eries I am a dwarf planet The furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet Check out our new animal channel. It's called KLT Wild. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate. I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. On November 14th in 2003, the Palomar Observatory is who discovered me. The names of astronomers are Michael Brown, Chad Trujillo, and Dave Rabinowitz are how I was found. My name Sedna means Inuit goddess of the sea, which derived from a young arctic woman's grim Eskimo story. I'm a large minor planet, that is what I will be, until I meet the criteria for dwarf status, you see. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate, I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. My distance from the sun in my furthest orbit is about 84 billion miles, I barely see it. If you saw the sun from that distance you wouldn't squint, it would be so small it could be blocked with the head of a pin. I'm the second reddest object in our solar system, the first reddest is Mars, yeah I am second to him. I am three fourths the size of our dwarf planet Pluto, and I'm believed to live in the or cloud you know. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate. I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. The time I'm about to take to orbit our sun once is 10,500 Earth years. Yeah, that is a long run. It's predicted the last time I was closest to our sun. Earth was coming out of its last ice age. Now that isn't fun. I live in the coldest known region of our solar system. It's minus 240 degrees Celsius where I'm from My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago now, an official. 
official moon I be in the month of April in 2015 is when I was noticed by Hubble's Whitefield Camera 3. The Southwest Research Institute led by Mark Boo, we are the first scientists in the world to ever notice me. I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper Belt and my charcoal colored surface certainly introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. It's estimated my diameter's 100 miles across. That's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers. I'm 1300 times more faint than dwarf Maki Maki. When a telescope gets closer, they will see me more clearly. I'm 13,000 miles from my door planet so bright And I'm called a moon because I'm a natural satellite Maki Maki had what scientists thought were dark warm spots Now they think it was me making those warm dots I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. Check out our new channel. It's called KLT Wild. I am 2014 UC224. I'm a new door planet candidate. Let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest door in our solar system. Listen carefully. More information is sure to come. Located on August 19th in 2014, David Gertz and his student team did discover me. David Gertz led a team from the University of Michigan. And that team had found me with a telescope with no intent. Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory is located in the Andes in the country of Chile. That's where the Blanco telescope is housed so it can see using the dark energy camera they attached to discover me. The dark energy camera was built to make a map of distant galaxies in the universe. Now how about that? The team led by David Gertz that had discovered me noticed a small dot moving through space and found it was in debris. Way out in the Kuiper Belt is where I was found, you know. I'll tell you more about me first. Let's sing the chorus, though. I am 2014 UC224. I'm a new dwarf planet candidate. Let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully. More information is sure to come. I'll be the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system seen. I'm 330 miles wide, even smaller than Ceres. The second farthest body from our sun with a stable orbit. And I'm 8.5 billion miles from the sun, I admit. I take 1,100 Earth years to orbit the sun. That's a mighty long year on my surface while I'm being spun. The IAUMPC announced to the public I'm here on October 16 after data cleared the IAU minor planet center will classify me after that I will be back to brag about it officially there's a lot of possible dwarf planets in our solar system there may even be another planet to discover it may come I am 2014 UC224 I'm a new dwarf planet candidate let me tell you some more I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system Listen carefully, more information
information is sure to come. I am 2014, UC224. I'm a new door planet candidate, let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am Quar, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quar. There is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. Now was discovered on June 4th in 2002 by astronomers Chad Trio and Michael Brown to name the two. The Samuel Ocean telescope did discover me in California at the Palomar Observatory. Named after an important figure in mythology of mission Indians in southern coast of California Sea. Before my name was approved by the IAU, my provisional designation was 2002 LM60, it's true. My name in full is 50,000 Quarar, and I'm roughly half the size of Earth or planet Pluto by far. I am Quarar, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quarar, there is so much to learn about me. As we adventure on our space journey on a sea My orbit around the sun is nearly circular, you know About 285 Earth years is one year on my surface though Astronomers think my color's moderately red And that I'm 1250 kilometers in diameter They had said I'm about 6 billion kilometers from Earth It would take 100,000 years to walk to me for what it is worth Scientists were shocked to find signs of of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. I have one known satellite, its name is way, way February 22nd, 2007's when you learned of it. Michael Lee Brown did discover my moon from images taken in February 2006, that is true. Way, way size of my satellite's diameter. There's more trans and objects to be found. Maybe you could be the next astronomer to break that ground. I am Quar, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora. There is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. Check out our new animal channel. It's called KLT Wild. Hello, I'm Orcas. I'm classified as a Plutino, which is a trans Neptunian object. Here we'll talk about the info astronomers collect. Discovered on February 17, 2004. When my Discovered at the Palomar Observatory Using the Samuel Ocean Telescope that discovered me Officially discovered back in 2004 In 1951, pre-covery pictures saw me before My name came from the Etruscan god of the underworld He was the punisher of broken oaths, I tell you as I twirl Any objects of the similar size and orbit as Pluto are named by the IA of the 
custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Lion B. Y. Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am V. Y. Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course I'm believed to be discovered in 1801 When French astronomer Jérôme Lalande Locked me in my recordings begun A red class M hypergiant's what I'm classified as Stars show tremendous luminosities and have very high rates of mass loss by stellar winds you see. My distance from the Earth is about 4,000 light years away. One light year equals about 5.9 trillion miles, I'd say. I used to be the largest star in the universe, you see. Until some hyper giants like you, Ice Katai, dwarfed me. I am B.Y. Canis Majoris. One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am V. Y. Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course If you wanna locate me while looking up in the night sky You'd have to use the telescope, you can't see me with the naked eye If you have a telescope, point to the constellation of Canis Major And look to the left to the Delta Star for Fixation. 990 million kilometers is my radius Aren't you glad you are paying attention and learning all of this? 5,822 degrees in Fahrenheit is what my temperature is thought to be I'm hot and extremely bright and If I replace the sun in your present solar system I would consume all planets past Jupiter like they were crumbs I am the Y Canis Majoris one of the largest stars known in the present universe I am V. Y. Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course Massive stars like me, we live a very, very short life I'm reaching the end of my existence, which is part of my strife I rapidly shed mass because I'm running out of fuel in my course Scientists think I'll explode into a super but no one knows for sure I am B.Y. Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am B.Y. Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy This is an interstellar course I am B.Y. Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am B.Y. Why can't it's Majoris? My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course. Check out our new animal channel, it's called KLT Wild. I am TOI 561B, one of the oldest rocky planets discovered, you'll see. TOI 561B, I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy. TOI 561B, also known as Super Earth, soon you'll also agree. I am TOI 561B. My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity. TOI 561B was discovered in the year of 2020 by the Transmitting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Also known as TESS, it sees things way out of sight. TOI 561B was discovered in the Milky Way galaxy With an estimated age of 13 billion years The Milky Way galaxy is super old, I do agree My estimated age is 10 billion years That makes me one of the oldest rocky planets discovered with cheer 
I am around 280 light years away I'm a third bigger than the earth I do convey I get close when I orbit my G-type star It takes me 10.5 hours to orbit once because I'm not too far My mass is 1.59 of the Earth's That's one of the reasons I'm so unique for what that's worth Lauren Wise's team is researching me She's the team leader at the University of Hawaii it's unlikely any life can survive on me With a surface temperature of 3630 degrees That's roughly twice as hot as molten lava on Earth In Fahrenheit since my discovery and my birth I'm tidally locked to my G-type star in motion I have a permanent day side that's likely home to a magma ocean I am TOI 561B One of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see TOI 561B I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy TOI 561B Also known as Super Earth Soon you'll also agree I am TOI 561B My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. My name is 22508, a gong gong, a potential tour planet as you'll learn in this song. Originally named 2007 OR10 That's my provisional designation Let's move on with this lesson Discovered in 2007 with the technology In California at the Palomar Observatory Megan Schwamm, David Rabinowitz, and Michael Brown They are American astronomers and how I was found I'm approximately the size of Pluto's moon named Sharon And fifth largest trans-Neptunian object in the solar system I'm a member of the scattered disk beyond Neptune I'm not a dwarf planet of the solar system but hope to be soon I have a natural satellite it's called a moon it goes by the name of Shang Lu I'm unofficially named after the Chinese water god Gong Gong is its name part of the trans-Neptunian squad you can't see me with the naked eye in the distance I'm spun because I'm 9.4 billion miles away from your sun I am 1230 kilometers in diameter or 760 miles when I'm converted I'm sure my color is a deep red on my surface as seen likely due to the presence of a compound called tholines water ice is also present on my surface thank you for joining me and learning about this my name is 22508 gong gong a potential tour planet as you'll learn in this song originally named 2007 or 10 that's my provisional designation let's move on with this lesson my name is 22508 gong gong a potential tour planet as you'll learn in this song Originally named 2007 OR10 That's my provisional designation Let's move on with this lesson Check out our new animal channel It's called KLT Wild I'm nicknamed Far Far Out Because I'm the furthest away solar system observed so far today 2018 AG37 is my name a trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame my first image was taken in January of 2018 here's more about me I'm 
I'm a trans-Neptunian object and I'm currently the farthest object in the solar system anyone's seen. I was discovered by astronomer Scott Shepard and David Tholen and Chad Trujillo at the Mauna Kea Observatory. Scanning in the solar system for planet nine. I was discovered by accident, but what a find. Astronomers found me 140 AU. That's astronomical units from the sun, it's true. That's 140 times the distance from Earth to the sun. I am extremely far from you. That fact is fun. To put this in perspective, Pluto orbits at an average distance of 39.5 AU from the sun with persistence. I'm currently farther than any observable object known in the solar system. Yeah, that's no stone's throw. At a very faint apparent magnitude of 25, only the largest telescope in the world can observe me. That's no jive. My brightness suggests I'm roughly 250 miles wide, but I'm barely big enough to qualify as a dwarf planet size. My size estimate assumes my world largely made of ice. That assumption could change with more observations, I advise. I'm nicknamed Far Far Out because I'm the furthest away in your solar system observed so far today. 2018 AG 37 is my name, a trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame. I'm nicknamed Far Far Out because I'm the furthest away in your solar system observed so far today. 2018 AG 37 is my name A trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters My name is TOI700D, an exoplanet outside the solar system I be. My name is TOI700D, 101.4 light years away from Earth, let's learn about me. I was discovered in January, in the year of 2020, by Emily Gilbert. While studying astronomy, I'm an exoplanet 101.4 light years away from Earth in the Dorado constellation. That's where I play. I'm the first Earth sized planet orbiting my host star, TOI 700, a red dwarf. We know this so far. I orbit my star in its habitable zone. Maybe there's a presence of liquid water on my surface shown. My star is 40% the mass of your sun and 55% of its temperature these facts are so fun I'm one of three exoplanets detected by test to be orbiting the host our TOI 700 we don't rest our names are TOI 700 B and C and TOI 700 D you guessed it that is me all three exoplanets may be tidally locked I do sing which means the same faces towards the object we are orbiting I I was discovered by test to see planets out of sight Called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite 
test was designed and launched specifically to find Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars like me. Scientists confirmed the find called TOI 700D with NASA Spitzer Space Telescope independently. TOI is short for Transiting Exoplanet Survey. Satellite object of interest, it's so long to say. NASA's on the hunt for more Earth-sized planets, but for now you have me. I'm sure there's more to find yet. You could become an astronomer, a job that's out of this world. You can be anything you want, whether you're a boy or a girl. My name is TOI 700D, an exoplanet outside the solar system. I be my name is TOI 700D, 101.4 light years away from Earth. Let's learn about me. Check out our new channel. It's called KLT Wild. I'm 20,000 Varuna. I'm here to teach you correct. I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object. I'm 20,000 Varuna. You can call me Varuna for short. I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report. My name is 20,000 Varuna, I'm sure your eyes are transfixed. My provisional designation's 2000 WR106. I was discovered in December in the year of 2000 by American astronomer Robert S. McMillan during a space watch at KP. Oh, I have an elongated shape due to my rapid rotation as shown. I was named after the Hindu deity. Varuna is my name. Please say it back to me. I'm 20,000 Varuna. I'm here to teach you correct. I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object. I'm 20,000 Varuna. You can call me Varuna for short. I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report. I'm a possible dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system is where my presence is felt. Info from my light curve says I'm a Jacobi ellipsoid. My elongated shapes due to my rapid rotation among the asteroids. My rapid rotation period is 6.34 hours. January 2001 is when it was first measured. The color of my surface is moderately red due to the complex organic compounds astronomers said water ice is thought to be present on my surface because of past collisions i was exposed now you're learning this no natural satellites have been recorded around me yet but in 2019, I may have a satellite astronomer suggest I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Original designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin now. Let's begin. An extreme trans Neptunian object in a sedoid in the outer solar system is what I am. I can't avoid. I was nicknamed the Goblin because of the TG in my name and because I was discovered near Halloween in 2015. October 2015 was when I was discovered. By astronomers at the MKO is how I was uncovered My discovery was made by Chad Trujillo David Tholin and Scott Shepard, you know 
I was discovered using the Subaru telescope they also probed with the blank 04 M telescope looking out from the globe. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua is my official name. I have trouble saying it too. I never come within 80 astronomical units to the sun and I get as far as 2300 AU from the sun on my run. You think a year on earth is long? Well, mine is longer. I admit 35,760 is one year in my orbit. I have a very elongated orbit along with Sedna on my trek. Astronomers believe this orbit exists because of hypothetical planet X. I never come near the major outer planets. Astronomers have checked 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin. There's probably 10,000 small dwarf-like planets in our outer solar system beyond Pluto. Now, isn't that fun? These dwarf-like planets are very small. That makes them hard to uncover. With technology improving, you could be the one to discover. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG3. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin! Check out our new animal channel, it's called KLT Wild! I'm 28,978 on provisional designation 2001KX76 I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978-Ixion. I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. The outer solar system is where you'll find me In the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune I can be seen I was discovered in May in the year of 2001 By the CTIO That's how this begun I was discovered by the Deep Ecliptic Survey A project to find Kuiper Belt objects It's still going on today James Elliott found me He was an American astronomer I'm classified as a Platino that is for sure. I'm 28,978 on Provisional designation 2001KX76. I'm a large trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978 on I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. I was named after Ixion from Greek mythology. Ixion was the king of the Lapids, the most ancient tribe you see. Though my name is 28,978 Ixion, my provisional designations 2001KX76. Have fun. 440 miles, that's my diameter in size. I'm fourth largest Plutino in the night sky. My color is thought to be red, and I may be covered in ice. Hidden underneath my thick layer of organic compounds, how nice. I'm 28,978 on Provisional designation 2001KX76. I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978-Ixion. I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I'm 2002 MS4 A large classical Kuiper Belt object, let me tell you more. I'm 2002 
MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure I'm 2002 MS4 A large classical Kuiper Belt object, let me tell you more I'm 2002 MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure My name's 2002 MS4 I was discovered in 2002 by those who do explore I was discovered by two top astronomers At the Palomar Observatory when passing I was a blur Chad Trujillo and Michael Brown Were the legendary astronomers who did track me down In 2019 I was recorded for fun At 46.5 AU from your sun I'll reach perihelion Which means I'm closest to your sun In the year 2122 On my orbital run I'm 2002 MS4 A large classical Kuiper Belt object Let me tell you more I'm 2002 MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt Beyond Neptune I'm sure My estimated size and diameter is around 800 km, that's kilometers. I'm thought to have a comparable size with Dwar Planet Ceres, making me the largest unnamed solar system object as of 2020. I'm one of the 10 largest trans Neptunian objects currently known, and large enough to be considered a Dwar Planet as shown. I currently do not have any known moons orbiting me, so an estimate of my mass cannot be made, you see. An observation in 2000. 2019 suggests I may be oblate in shape along a diameter on me. I'm 2002 MS4, a large classical Kuiper Belt object. Let me tell you more. I'm 2002 MS4, I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune. I'm sure. I'm 2002 MS4. A large classical Kuiper Belt object, let me tell you more, I'm 2002 MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure Check out our new animal channel, it's called KLT Wild <laughs> star's name I know it sounds bizarre I'm the prototype for a class of planets called hot Jupiters I'm 1850 degrees Fahrenheit measured by astronomers I was first discovered in the year of 1995 at the Hope Province Observatory With their eye tip towards the sky The astronomers who discovered me I will tell you in this song They are Michelle Mayer And Didier Quillos They are headstrong My discovery had won these men A Nobel Prize in physics There was nothing to be said about them By their critics My Jupiter mass Is a round point four six. That's my unit of mass Equal to the total mass of Jupiter the planet I'm located 50 light years from the constellation Pegasus 
You need a very large telescope to see me This you can trust In 2015 the IAU announced my chosen name Without a laugh They named me Domitium Which is an adverb meaning by half Domitium is my name because my mass is almost half of Jupiter's Since my discovery, lots of exoplanets have been discovered I am much closer to my star than Mercury is to your sun That is why I'm so hot Yeah! Well, I am spun. My orbital speed is in miles per hour, 304,000. Now that's a lot of great power. I am thought to be tidally locked to my host star, much like the moon is to your Earth, but not as far. I'm an extrasolar planet. Named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi B I am formally named Dimidium Yeah, that is me Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am 2021 PH 27. I am currently the new closest object to the sun. I stole Mercury status of the sun's closest object. I'm here to prove this to you after my facts are checked. Discovered by Scott Shepard at the CTIO on August 13th, 2021 in the country of Chile, you know. Scott Shepard discovered me using the Dark Energy Survey, or DES for short. In space, I'm on display. I was discovered at apparent magnitude 19 from the Earth. Let me explain just what that means. Apparent magnitude is a measure of the brightest of a star. I am currently the new closest object to the sun I stole Mercury status of the sun's closest object I'm here to prove this to you after my facts are checked My perihelion is closer than Mercury at the closest orbit to the sun My aphelion is farther than Venus when my orbit is farthest from the sun I have the smallest semi-minor axis of fun and shortest orbital period among all asteroids as of 2021. I take 113 days to orbit the sun. That makes me the fastest orbiting asteroid and I'm not done. I'm expected to be larger than one kilometer in diameter. Next to Mercury's diameter of 4,800 kilometers. I'm smaller, professionally designated 2021 PH 27 while orbiting the sun by the minor planet center on my run. None of this info would be possible without astronomers. Maybe you could study astronomy inside of this world, I'm sure. I am 2021 PH 27. I am currently the new closest object to the sun. I stole Mercury status of the sun's closest object. I'm here to prove this to you after my facts are checked. I am 2021 PH 27. I am currently the new closest object to the sun. I stole Mercury status of the sun's closest object. I'm here to prove this to you after my facts are checked. Check out our new animal channel. It's called KLT Wild. Can create also known as Jensen. I'm a super Earth, you see. I'm an exoplanet in the orbit of my host star named Copernicus. Here's what they know about me this far. I was discovered in the month of August on the 30th day in the year. 
condition underneath my surface I was discovered by a female astronomer She goes by the name of Barbara MacArthur The detection method used by astronomers to find me Is a method called radio velocity My host are Copernicus from 55 Pancreate Is from Earth, a 40 light year trip away My host star is a G-type star similar to your sun You know I'm point oh one five four four AU from my star's globe My name is 55 Cancrete, also known as Jansen I'm a super Earth, you see I'm an exoplanet in the orbit of my host star Named Copernicus Here's what they know about me this far My mass is about 8.08 that of the Earth I take .7 days to complete one orbit of my star For what that's worth I belong to the constellation called Cancer Here is an example of what it looks like Of this I am sure In 2016 in the month of February NASA's Hubble telescope detected two gases on me Those gases were hydrogen and helium With hints of hydrogen cyanide while it was on its run I am tidally locked just like your moon That means I have a dark side, you won't see it too soon Silicates in my atmosphere would condense Into clouds on my tidally locked dark side I commence Reflecting the lava from below So there would be a sparkle in my dark skies that don't show My day side temperatures average about 4200 degrees That is in Fahrenheit, if you please There are more planets orbiting my host star We will visit those soon, keep it on your radar My name is 55, Cancrete, also known Of my host star named Copernicus Here's what they know about me this far Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters I am Bernardinelli Bernstein, a large or cloud comet, also called C slash 2014 UN271 as of yet. I'm on my way to orbit your sun on my orbital run. Let's learn when and where I will appear in my perihelion. The first image of me was discovered in October of 2014 I was 29 AU or 4.3 billion kilometers from the sun I was barely seen That's about as far as Neptune's orbit The furthest a comet has been discovered That's where my presence was uncovered Discovered by astronomers Pedro Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein With the Dark Energy Survey or DES They had found me in archival images from the DES at the CTI Observatory which is located in the Coquimbo region in the country of Chile I'm the largest or cloud comet the biggest you humans ever saw I'm estimated between 63 and 93 miles across unless I thought What is this or cloud anyway? Surrounding your sun It's a spherical layer of icy objects Outside the orbit of Neptune's run During 2021 I will approach your solar system sun At a distance of 19.5 or 20.8 AU On my run Let's take a look at the images here To see my orbit around the sun my perihelion and aphelion are explained to you just for fun. Perihelion means my closest approach to your sun as you see here. And aphelion is my furthest orbit from your sun that had just appeared. My closest approach to Earth will be made in 2031. Which is just outside of Saturn's orbit That 
that's my perihelion. My orbital period is about 4.5 million years. My aphelion distance is about 54,000 AU. So I hear, I am sad to say that I won't enter your inner solar system. I may be wide, but you won't see me with your naked eye, and that's no fun. I am five and a half times as long as Olympus months. The solar system tallest mountain found on Mars. You've learned this in this song. I am classified as a comet, but what exactly is that? I'm a cosmic snowball of rock dust and different types of frozen gas. I am Bernardinelli, Bernstein, a large or cloud comet, also called C slash 2014 UN271 as of yet. I'm on my way to orbit your sun on my orbital run. Let's learn when and where I will appear in my perihelion. Check out our new animal channel. It's called KLT Wild. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk. My name is AG100546. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk from the constellation of Musca. Now hear this. My name is HG100546. I'm 316.4 light years from your Earth with exoplanet. I'm a star with a circumstellar disk from the distance of 0.2 AU to a few hundred AU. Now this. I'm found in the constellation of Musca, hear this I'm a B-type star with an exoplanet that does orbit I have an exoplanet that goes by the name you see It is HD 100546B I'm HD 100546B I was discovered at the Very Large Telescope in Chile Astronomers think I might be a large planet or brown dwarf Located in the disk around my star on my orbital course I'm a gas giant exoplanet, they know this for sure My mass is 752 Jupiters One orbit takes 249 years around my star I'm 53 AU away from my star, that is far My discovery was announced in 2014 That's all I have to report, that's enough about me Again, it's HD 10546. Let me tell you a bit more about my disc. My circumstellar disc was observed by the Hubble telescope, which should spiral patterns what they mean. No one really knows. My disc is fairly flat with a circular shape, with a wide gap thought to be carved by my exoplanet. How great! When looking at the night sky, try to locate the constellation of Musca, but you have to look late. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk. My name is AG100546. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk from the constellation of Musca. Now hear this. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Around 28 million light years from Earth, there is a whirlpool galaxy. Its name is Messier 51. That's what I'm part of, you see. I am the first exoplanet found outside your Milky Way galaxy. Since I'm located outside of your galaxy, an exoplanet's what you'd call me. In the constellation of Canis Venatici, you'll find the Whirlpool galaxy. 
It goes by the name of Messier 51 or call it M51, it's easy. Inside N51 is the sun-like star 28 million light years from Earth. The star orbits around a neutron star or a black hole. Now let's move forth. I orbit this sun-like star. I am a Saturn-like planet. They had found. I am classified as an extra planet. Outside the Milky Way, I was crowned. Out of the thousands of exoplanets found inside the Milky Way galaxy, I am the first extra planet ever found. This is a big deal, you'd have to agree. Researchers use NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory to detect the dimming of X-rays from an X-ray binary. An X-ray binary is a system where a sun-like star is in orbit around a black hole or a neutron star. I do admit it's quite profound. I was discovered based on transits, but what exactly does that mean? It's what happens when a planet crosses in front of a star, blocking its light, it's how I'm seen. This neutron star or black hole is pulling in gas from my star, closely orbiting. This material pole becomes superheated, then it glows in x-rays. It's out of this world, that's a thing. I was discovered by the astronomers under Rosandi Stefano, you see. The name I was given by my founders is M51 ULS1B. Around 28 million light years from Earth, there is a whirlpool galaxy. Its name is Messier 51. That's what I'm part of, you see. I am the first exoplanet found outside your Milky Way galaxy. Since I'm located outside of your galaxy. An extra planet's what you'd call me. Check out our new animal channel. It's called KLT Wild. My name is Kepler 16b, an extrasolar planet on the scene. In the constellation of Cygnus. Orbiting Kepler 16 Discovered on the 15th day In the month of September In the year of 2011 I became a extrasolar planet member Lawrence R. Doyle did discover me an American scientist using transit photometry. Scientists noticed the dimming of one of the system stars. Even when the other star was not eclipsing it, which raised the bar. I was found in the constellation Cygnus that day. A northern constellation on the plane of the Milky Way. I am 200 light years from the Earth you live on Orbiting a binary star system you learn in this song The host star system I am now known to orbit Is Kepler 16 a binary star system It's legit eclipsing Binary star systems are as defined as two stars that are gravitationally bound and in orbit around each other. How bizarre! I orbit my host star with a period of 229 days shorter than an Earth year you love. I'm a Saturn mass planet which is consisting of half gas.
glass half rock and ice as I sang. Lawrence believed this is the best measured planet outside the solar system and now you know where I reside. My name is Kepler 16b, an extrasolar planet on the scene. In the constellation of Cygnus, orbiting Kepler 16. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I'm an exoplanet that is the size of Jupiter. My name is Kepler 1708b. Let's learn more. I'm a gas giant planet slightly smaller than Jupiter in size, but my mass has not been yet fully measured. It's no surprise. I was first detected in 2011 by NASA's famed Kepler mission. Using the transit method for sure. It's when a planet passes between a star and its observer. But I was not identified as a candidate planet until the year of 2019 and then it was set. I have signs of an orbiting exomoon found in 2021 by David Kipping and colleagues too. The candidate exomoon is thought to be Neptune's size. Its name is Kepler 1708bi. I orbit a sun-like star, I'll introduce to you now, it's called Kepler 1708, in which I'm proud. I orbit 1.64 astronomical units you see, away from my host star, in its system I be. I complete one revolution every 737 days, for two years, as I spin on my way. The sun-like star I orbit, Kepler 1708, is 5600 light years away from Earth. Earth. There's more just wait. My host star's located in the constellation of Cygnus, which is host to other extrasolar planets I discuss. Kepler 1708 is slightly larger and more massive than your sun. It's also hotter and more luminous. Now I'm done. I'm an exoplanet that is the size of Jupiter. My name is Kepler 1708b. Let's learn more. Check out our new animal channel. It's called KLT Wild. I'm Kepler 186F and exoplanet I spin. Let's learn more about me and where I have been. Kepler 186 system is about 500 light years from Earth. I'd like to tout. In the constellation of Cygnus is where I reside along with four companion planets. We don't try to hide. Kepler 186 is an M dwarf star, half the size and mass of your sun by far. I orbit my star in the Goldilocks zone where liquid could pool on the surface, don't you know? In a habitable zone, life might just exist on a planet like me. I'll tell you why this is. My distance from my star in my side. Scientists were so excited with my discovery by the Kepler telescope and the transit method to spot my shadow you see and where I was headed. I'm Kepler 186F and exoplanet I spin. Let's learn more about me and where I have been. Shop our new store and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. An exoplanet's been discovered the size of Earth you see. My name is LHS 475B. I'm an exoplanet, but what does that mean? It means I'm a planet that orbits another star, that's me. I was originally found by Tess for sure, so scientists to look into me further captured by james webb's nir spec instrument and all the info that was gathered was an earth sent why was i so special on the day of my find i'm an exoplanet that james webb found for the first time i'm 99 percent the earth's diameter which is rare for an exoplanet found for sure i have a whole Seventy-five. 
one planet they know of so far. My host star is part of the constellation Octans. It's 40.7 light years away from the solar system you're in. I complete an orbit of LHS 475 in just two days. That is fast around my star as I fly. An exoplanet's been discovered the size of Earth you see. My name is LHS 475. Thanks for watching KLT. Please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store.